All right, hey there, Cancer. So I'm doing a ghosted read for you guys. Uh, fading away, the disappearing act. So this is going to be a connection that is on your heart space that has kind of fizzled out. And you're going to know this is your read by your energy, how you met this person and the circumstances that have led to the ghosting or the disappearing. All right. So um, check your other placements again if it doesn't resonate. And if you guys are new, welcome. I do hope you'll subscribe if you like my energy. Let's see where your headspace is right now. So moving forward, I feel like you're not going to let this person's uh, lack of attention or lack of flow um, stop you from moving forward. You guys could be seeing 333. Three, three. Look at that. We got the three of pentacles, the three of cups, and the three of wands. All of these cards showed up in reverse, and I just feel like it's kind of... Um, What's on your heart space right now is the opposite of actually coming together in union, all right? And it could just be that you're kind of wondering if the situation is going to be one that melds back together. Um, it's it's right here. I just see everything as lack, lack of your friend, your partner, the person that you were connecting to, regardless of how long you guys have known each other. Um, these are all generally happy cards. You guys could be at a distance and even thought about traveling to see this person at one point in time or the other, right? But the Six of Swords says that you're moving forward. You're moving on whether this person wants to be a part of your dynamic or not. And I just feel that Three of Cups, I keep getting drawn to that card because that's a card about unity coming together. And it, it, it these all came in reverse. So I just kind of feel like it's the opposite of happy and fun times right now. Um, Dang, I don't know uh, what why I'm thinking this, but you know when you th when thing when thoughts come to mind, you have to say them, and um, it's almost like uh, some of you guys could be. Um, <laughs> we have the holidays coming up, um, and it's funny because I just seen this post the other day that said, um, um, "You're." Uh, the, the next three months, December, January, and February are for people who are couples. Um, and since I'm single, I'll see you guys in March. Um, and it could be too that you're kind of wondering if this person may have pulled a disappearing act because of these holidays, right? It's um, intimate time. It's one filled with love. And, you know, I, I can imagine that if this is a newer connection, that um, probably has some, some part to play in this person's pulling away. Um, let's see how you guys met. Let's see how you, you and this person have met. We're going to see as best as possible. So we have the Eight of Swords coming through, which is a, what to me is, is basically saying, and I wasn't looking for this person. We weren't looking for each other. Again, I wasn't looking for this person. Yeah, look at that. So some of you guys could have been coming out of heartbreak, a breakup, or this person could have been coming out of a breakup. All right. We have a Gemini energy right there with that King of Swords. Um, but it's almost too like you guys have been honest with each other from the get-go about what you were and were not looking for. Um, the two of swords is to me, it's just, to, it's, I don't even feel blockages at this point. I feel like it's, we weren't looking for anybody when we found each other. Okay. So not looking for anything serious, not looking for a serious relationship, possibly coming out of heartbreak or a breakup, um, either you or this person. That's the energy I'm kind of feeling from this connection. So let's just see what the circumstances are that have led to the disappearing act, the ghosting, how the energy was building up between you and this person. So we have the five of wands. Um, I almost feel like there's probably some drama going on uh, behind the scenes. Either you may or may not know about this. Okay. Um, the judgment card and the star card um, in order to get what we want as far as wishes, dreams, and hopes being fulfilled. We know that there's growing, changing, rebuilding, and releasing the past before we can have that wish fulfillment. So I feel like um, this is a dynamic I do feel is acknowledged that somebody was not ready. Okay. Um, I feel like both of you guys were not looking. However, if one person's not ready, um, there's, there's this drama coming through. So you guys probably could have gotten a little tiff, an argument or a spat, especially if we're kind of leading each other on with feelings. Um, it's stringing people along, you know what I mean? So um, if we're not ready for it, I feel like that was, um, that was stated in this dynamic. Um, not being ready for it. However, it's like, well, I can't keep doing this. You know what I mean? So if you guys were sleeping together and some emotions start to fizzle, some emotions start to come through um, as they typically do, um, especially when we, we are sexual and intimate. Um, I almost feel like it was stated, I can't keep doing this. All right. And so that's probably where that energy started fading out or fizzling out. Right. So let's just see who we're talking to. I'm going to roll some signs and see the signs that could possibly be coming through. We have Libra, Capricorn, 
Sagittarius. And let's see who we're dealing with. Who is this person? What is their energy? Who are they? We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Scorpio and we have Pisces with the moon card. All right. So this person is really holding back. They're really, they are really withholding. I don't feel like you've heard anything from this person. Um, I feel like that there, there is communication that's desired. I feel like they do have a desire to talk to you. Um, but if I feel potentially cancer, you could have pulled your energy back. All right. Um, it doesn't have to be, it could just be that this person doesn't know how to communicate and they don't want to, you know what I mean? Um, the swords card coming in reverse is just the opposite of the win. It's the opposite of communication. It's the opposite of victory. We have, um, the energy right here lingering on the past and the moon card, um, kind of just suffering through it in solace. You know, I feel like that moon card is kind of withholding feelings and emotions and just kind of making this person, um, their energy, um, sp you know, sparse. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm trying to say? Sparse. Like, you know, um, they're, they're just making themselves gone right now. You know, I don't feel the moon card is being secretive. I don't feel like their energy is hiding anything. I just feel like, um, they're probably navigating through this past situation. Um, wh what they should have been doing before you guys started communicating or, or talking. All right. Um, you know, I just, I, I just feel like this person has a lot of releasing to do, but let's see why it is they ghosted. Let's just get some facts. The hermit card coming through is kind of going within, being analytical, being thoughtful. Um, this person, I feel like they, so th the seven of swords is, is coming through. So this person could have been lied to, cheated on, manipulated, gaslighted. They, it's almost like they, they probably put up with something for far too long. All right. And they're just really not ready for it. They're not ready. You can see that they're not ready. They're not ready for a relationship dynamic. Um, the page of swords I feel is probably their energy. You can feel it. Um, uh, you can feel their energy watching you, paying attention, trying to see what's going on with you, um, but not really reaching out. All right. I feel like I don't feel like this is a, a cheater type of person. I feel more of this is what they've experienced. This is why they're not ready. And I feel like you guys have actually had that because of what I see from the beginning of this, um, this uh, read is that neither of you were actually looking for a, a relationship. All right. Um, with the seven of, of cups coming through, I just feel like this person does have a lot on their plate. Um, but I feel like that's all energy that you're not aware of. Um, and it could be house, money, finances, business, um, relationships with children, relationships with family. I don't feel like it's a relationship that this person has. I don't feel like they're I don't feel like they're entertaining anything because I feel what their energy is showing with that seven of swords is they've experienced enough. And that's why you guys were not ready to pursue this in the first place. Um, cancer, I almost feel like your feelings probably got more attached to this person. And they, as soon as they seen that, even though you guys laid out, this is what we want with that King of Swords energy, there was some lingering energy stringing along. You know what I mean? I just kind of, I can't help but shake that that's what I'm feeling from this. So let's just see if this person's gonna come back. This is a 30 day intention read. So let's see if they're coming back. We have the page of pentacles. So, um, that's a manifestation card. It's new beginnings. Um, here's what I'm going to say. The page of pentacles showing up in reverse is lack of progress. It's failure. It's procrastination, learning from mistakes of the past. Okay. Um, here's what I'm going to say. This person is going to come back. Okay. But they're going to come back. I feel like they are going to exclaim or proclaim how they feel or what they wish they didn't, how they feel like they didn't treat you. Um, what am I trying to say? You're coming through as um, a wish fulfillment, but this person took advantage of that. But the uh, on the other note, I want to say this person is coming back, but they're going to come back. And I feel that they're not going to really try to grow or develop the dynamic of the connection okay the knight of wands i feel is coming through the page of pentacles in reverse i feel like this energy is still coming through as selfish um so maybe wanting to come back to reconnect physically intimately or maybe they just need a, sh a shoulder to cry on and you were the one that was there but i don't feel like they're coming back through to really help to try to get this connection to grow towards what I feel you want it to be not right now. Okay. So you guys need to use your intuition. Um, that doesn't have to be for everybody, but I see it really strong coming through. So you need to use your intuition. 
um, ask where this person's look at pay attention to their emotional um, availability level you know what I mean is everything surface or are they trying to be deep with you or are they trying to connect with you use your intuition when this person comes back because they are going to come back but I still feel like there's going to be a, um, something else that could potentially be a lesson to you that you've already been through and experienced with this person all right so use your intuition pay attention to what what they're what they're showing you um, but let's just see if this person's going to be honest with you when they come back through um, about their feelings emotions what they're going through the page of cups in reverse so here's what i'm going to say i feel like we have this we have the ace of cups the seven of pentacles i feel like they're coming through as an unhealed version of themselves all right i feel like they're going to come through just as fast as um they've shifted their energy in the now this is burnt out impulsive unfocused it's restless um i just feel like that's the energy coming through with these cards you guys know i don't typically read reversals but in order for you guys to have a new beginning there is a lot of healing that still needs to be done in this dynamic all right and the page of cups is just more about feeling to me um emotional Emotional maturity, emotional unavailability, not expressing their true honest feelings, okay, not expressing what still needs to be done in this dynamic. So again, pay attention to your guys's intuition when this person comes back around. All right. So I'm going to pull to see what it is you can release or let go of um, during this, this period of wait. So you, what Spirit's saying is you still need to embody some heart, some love. Um, you know, it's okay to pray for somebody even if they... It's like we, we all have this inner child inside of us, you guys, that needs to be healed. And it's okay to pray for other people, um, especially if you feel like they've done you wrong. All it does for you is build good karmic points with the universe, okay? So maybe what you didn't get back this time will come back tenfold through somebody else, all right? So um, for whoever I'm talking to, I feel like you do have a lot of love in your heart. You have a lot of positive energy, all right? So don't let this situation hinder your growth. Don't let it hinder who you know you can be, all right? Um, what's probably happened with this person is happening to you um but it's like this person has it i just i look at this person as they have inner child healing that needs to be done um and i'm not saying you know it's not their fault i'm not taking their side but what i feel spirit's telling you is don't let this don't let this um don't let this situation hinder you from growing into the person that you are, all right, which is this empress right here. So this is love. It's comfort. It's home. It's security. It's building. Um, it, it's it's building within yourself, all right? Don't lose um, sight of who you are and who you know you can be because this person um, is a little bit lost, okay? So let's pull some initials to see who we are dealing with. And this could be yours or this person's first, middle, or last city, estate, so we have Q and B, U and O, Y and L. All right, Cancer, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. You guys take care.